Test, test. Here's me speaking with the music on. Test, test, test. Speaking with the music on. Test, test, test. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Hello there. Hello, Vermicious. Mrs. Homer Simpson turned the go pimper. How's it going over that guy? How's it going, Rachel? Get ready for some hardcore modding. It's all gonna kick off. Hello Lizzie, how's it going? It's really great to see you guys once again, you know. Showing the webcam, I have to be very quiet because you know, she's she's sleeping next door, and uh, the wee bar is sleeping on us. So I've got to be nice and quiet. <coughs> Just switch off tweet deck. So um. Find myself. Turn the goat says just back from Alpha Papa. <coughs> See, I don't want to say on Twitter, right? Because I'm in the com I'm in the comedy industry. So, um, you know, I don't want to badmouth people because I've done it before and they just pop up and go, "Sorry to hear that." You're like, oh, fuck shit. <coughs> I saw the trailer for Alpha Papa and the pictures of oh, Ikato going, look shit to me. Lots of people. Mondo Prime says Alpha Papa's brilliant. No, th no to me, mate. Don't even need to see it. I don't like this comedy that's just full of fucking one liners. Classic line. That was a classic line. I don't like that type of thing. That was a classic lane. After the first series, uh, I'm Alan Partridge. I didn't see anything that's funny that he ever did as that first series. Even just, even just swinging the fucking bag. Yeah, the heat and all that, you know, like everything. Everything's just what was it? And, and, and uh, I just see Steve Coogan, and and he made a fucking arse it. Steve Coogan made an arse it when he did that wee thing. Um, as if he's all for, as if he's kind of like on Rupert Murdoch's side. Something like that, press, something or other. I was like, what are you doing? You're, you're making an arse here. Aye, I, I mean, he, he did a thing like maybe filmed in his fucking house as Alan Partridge being a bit of an idiot. Like as if he's on the side of, I don't know what, it was, it was shite. Like, this isn't this isn't Alan Partridge, this is fucking Steve Coogan. Piss me off. 
But um Alpha Papa so fucking nah. Alpha Papa, let's check it out. <coughs> Seven point nine, my fucking ass man. Mars. I've not watched the trip. I've not watched the trip yet. Pimper says Alpha Pish, am I right? Aye. Alpha Papa, Alpha Pish. Alpha Papa. Alpha fucking pricks. Top Boy says, You ever written a film script? I'm actually writing um, a few just now, I'm writing 10 film scripts. 10. And all of them are getting made that I'm delighted to tell you. All of them are getting made. All of them are getting made. Thank you for saying I've, looked w I've lost weight. I'm down to 11 and a half stone and I'm going to get down to 11 and then I'm going to get down to 10 and then 9 and 8 and 7 and then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and I'm going to bounce all the way up to minus 13 and then I don't know what will happen but here's my theories I'll either turn inside out and I'm going to look like I'm looking at me Or I'll become a negative kind of energy thing. I'll be, um, I'll be the sort of thing that if I bumped into me now, we would cancel each other out. <clears throat> I like a negative, like a negative. Somebody says, I agree, this song's push fucking sharp. This is a shite tune, which you fucking know. Right, fuck this. Pause. With my shortcut, which is Control Alt and Home on Winamp. Don't really like Winamp, it's. I've started using it. Right, who, who's that dick? Um, right. Ben Ninja says, I agree, this song is push. Th them TV says this is a shite tune. Okay, you too. What songs do you like and I'll stick it on? Don't say, mm, I'm not sure. Tell me a song. Tell me a song. Just that's all you need to do, tell me a song. I'll jump onto YouTube right now in preparation for your answer. Get lucky. There's your wee joke. Give me a song. Give me one song or you're getting blocked and I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll hunt you down and make sure you never get on here again. <coughs> Surgeon A-T-O-L, I, I don't know what that is, right? Is that really a, is that really a favourite song of yours, mate? Ben Ninja, who thinks my music's shite. My choice in music, my taste in music. Right. You'd really like it, you're not just saying, oh, that old kind of shock him. You'd really like this song. Let's check it. Here we go. Here we go. Funk the Void. I'll only be playing your link because I know that'll be a fucking good thing. I want what they're sending me to be fucking shite. Because then I'll be vindicated.
like the sound of that there, Funk the Void, but I'll tell you what I didn't like about it, and I hope you didn't make it fucking hell, is that I can't get behind it, because it sounds, what do you call it, like a pastiche sort of, uh, um, throwback retro kind of, you know, you know, I can't get you know, right, in, right in behind it and go, this is, this is it, this is it. Kind, kind of. Like this, this here. Right, this, this one here. This one by Ian Pillow or next in my playlist. This. Um, Funk the Void, just want to tell you right now, don't worry everybody, I want to keep the conversation just between me and Funk the Void. But my son absolutely loves this song because I play it to my time. And see this bit here? <clears throat> he knows how to put it on. He, he puts on the CD and he knows to go to song number six. And he sticks it on and this is what he does to excite it. And he does it. He does that for that bit. Gonna tell me one thing. Funk the void. I'm looking forward to it. See that? Is that just a preset? Is that just a preset or did you have to make that up? I want to know, just, just that wee one. I mean, it's, not, it's not an uncommon sound, but did you call that on the keyboard? I want to know the, the right... I want to know the right ins and outs here. That sounds alright. That there sounds alright. It sounds like a sort of thing you'd hear in the art school. But 1990 fucking the art school about 1989 one of the techno nights what was that other song somebody said what about the other cunt hold on you can't just skip it like that well I just fucking did um Right, this isn't a music night, sorry. Let's, let's talk about it. So, um, Tom the Goat says, can you fill us in on S&M? Do you like how it sounds like S&M? S&M is my new philosophy, spend no money. Because <clears throat> I recently, I was doing my accounts, income, Expense or what's expenditure? I don't know. Fucking I've gone through all these fucking receipts. All these what in a month? In a month? Fucking ten, twelve, ten, nine. All this money flying out the fucking door, flying out. And all these wee lunches and shit like that. What the fuck? I didn't gain these cunts on my fucking door. A lot, of, a lot of fucking money. A lot of money. Just like, what am I doing, man? What am I doing? I tell you, can I, uh, no, I'm not going to bother. I was ready to tell you what I spent in one month. <coughs> But right now, I'm, I'm like in between fucking jobs. I'm between, in, you know, I stop, let me show, I'm trying to do my next thing. When's that next thing going to come? It's, it, nothing's fucking guaranteed in this game. Nothing's guaranteed at all. Maybe a year? Five years? Maybe three months? I don't know. But during that time, I've got a roof in my fucking head now. I've got a wane. And I'm fucking napping it. Pound ninety for a cup of fucking tea or something like that. A cup of tea. Is that it? Boom. Cup of tea. Whew. Coffee. Whew. Pizza. I don't I don't eat stuff like that anymore, mind you, because I'm on a, a diet, but look. Like, container for a pizza or something like that. What the fuck am I doing? 
I the fucking see me coming, man. They see me coming. Here comes the prick who pays us a pound eighty to fill up a fucking teapot with boiling water and chuck a fucking tea bag in it. <laughs> I gave him a bit of milk. Oh, the fucking... I mean, what... What, what must the fucking profit be in that? Eh? Must be like 99%. I'm a fucking mug. They must... They must funnel enough, they must see me drinking out a teacup and go, <laughs> mug. Bet they'll piss themselves laughing at me everywhere I go. Here he comes. The guy who's paying our fucking wages. Mr. T. That's what they call me, Mr. T. Like Mr. T, but T-E-A. I bet they do fucking Mr. T impressions when I walk in. Or like uh, B.A. Barakis or Club of Lang. It's a shame, isn't it? He comes in. Spends all his money on, on fucking tea. We're pure ripping them off. But the other one goes like that. I know, I pity the fool. <laughs> ah, ah, Mr. T, Mr. T. Hey. I ain't getting in. You can imagine him. You can imagine him getting Mr. T there, getting to the airport and saying, I ain't getting on no damn plane. Because he can't afford to go on holiday because he spent all his money on tea. But they're all laughing at me. I pity the fool. That's a good one. What you making that popcorn revelation, eh? Mind that? Remember I exposed that? One of the things I enjoyed about going to the pictures was getting tore right in to a big large what you call it, a bag, bag of popcorn, big large thing a popcorn, salt, no sugar, salt, and cine world, and I thought, oh, this the good thing is, it's, it's like air, it's like air, you just, you can just fucking gub a whole lot, 1200, I think it's 1250 calories, that's, it may have been just like 10 calories less than that, but that is half a guy's recommended calorie intake for a day, which is 2,500. Half, just like that. On that popcorn. Fucking hell, man. You still love just sitting there and munching away. So that last film I went to see, which was um, The Conjuring, First film I think I've been to see without eating popcorn. Never had eaten. Just a can of diet iron brew. Uh, boring as fuck, man. It's like fucking watching paint dry. And it was better, right? It was all these cunts that talk like that. And it was better, right? Y'all be gone a chain, man, right? That's all I hear when I see people talking that way. Yeah, I'll be coming back now, I'm gonna change my rare. Just balance it out with something more healthy. How's about I don't have it? That's my philosophy right now. That's the way I'm seeing everything. So I'm like 11 and a half stone, didn't they? Probably 13 and a half stone. Maybe the last time I was on a webcam was 13 and a half stone, I don't know. I weighed myself and I was about 14 and a quarter. But then I found that I had the fucking scales on the rug. I, I knew that anyway, but I didn't know there was anything up with that. Then the rug had to get washed. So I had it on a flat surface, boom, fucking dropped. By, I don't know, like half a stone. So I think I was maybe about, maybe 13 and a half. 
This is a big track he told me anyway, already taken. Um, Ed Guthridge, The Conjuring is great, just got to see it without a cinema full of bastards. I but it's not great because that's my only experience here, and that's the fucking end of that. It's fucking ruined. That's that's done. How did you lose so much weight so quick? No, I've been on a diet for months. Quick big question. Have the guns suffered? <laughs> well, you'd be the judge of that. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see. good music for that. This is good music for this. I don't put the music up for this. So how did I lose the weight? Calorie counting. Very wee bowl of porridge in the morning. All shredded wheat. Made with milk. I made with water. Porridge made with water with a bit of milk as opposed to all milk. Soup for lunch without fail. And then just some kind of low calorie -ish, calorie ish at night. And maybe a wee yogurt here. Maybe go a wee bit that wee bit after the weekend. Out cycling and just generally. And that's it. No cakes, no chocolate, none of that. That's it. That's it. The no booze, the no cakes, 
no chocolate, no sugary stuff at all. That's it. If you want to get rid of sugar to avoid that, that dip, but you get, don't have, just have shredded wheat or have uh, porridge. Everything else has just got fucking sugar in it, even like fucking all bran, all bran shreddies. Take a look at the fucking nutritional stuff in that, and it's all sort of fucking, all fucking full of sugar in it. Rachel says, I'd, I'd be going crazy with cravings. No, if you've got something to override it. And that is a fucking goal. When you've got a goal, nothing gets in the way, man. Nothing gets in the way. If you've not got a goal, if you're just like, I lose weight, <clears throat> how much, I don't know. Then it won't harm. It won't harm. It won't harm. Did you know, according to the charts, or the wee charts and things like that, I'm meant to be for five foot nine, eleven and a quarter. Be my ass. Got a big ass. I don't think so. In, in my naturally athletic physique, I mean, you can just see my arms. You see the veins. See the veins. The veins are there naturally. But you don't get that. Other guys haven't got that by the way. They have to work it like fuck to get the veins. You know what the veins are there for? Because my body's like that. Oh, fucking give me something to do, man. Give me something to do. I'm ready to pump the fucking blood through these arms and just go fucking smashing. Go smashing the place up. So my body's ready for upper body's like, oh, fucking come on, man. Can we not fucking smash something up? I mean, what do you think about Putin and Russia? Oh, I don't know. Obviously, I know what I think. But you're like, what's the fucking point, man? It's fucking Russia. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Test, test, test. This is me speaking of the music just to see how loud it is. Test, 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 test. It is test, 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 test. Yeah, let's just turn it in just a wee bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if I can get to 11. I think that'll be funny. That'll be funny. If I can get to 11, I know I can do it. I know, th I know 11's too thin, but fuck it, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like anorexia, in a way, because it went for me feeling I was overweight, which I was, and wanting to feel a wee bit leaner, a wee bit faster and more awake. No, it's not about weight loss, no, it's a way of controlling my, my life. It's a wee bit like that. 
So in a way, by controlling my fucking weight, it's like a game. It's just like a game. It's like a game. Am I actually going to get anorexic? Like, do you see that genuinely? No. But it's like a game. I've got a name. You're looking too skinny. <clears throat> I need to get new clays, that's what I need to do. Anyway, enough about that. No, you lose muscle and organs too, which I'm sure you know. I fucking lose my muscle up you hen. <gasps> oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my god, are you okay? Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Caitlin, we're on crack, get her on. <laughs> <laughs> She made a daft wee remark about cutting my cock and I thought I'll just I'd be pissing at a straw. <laughs> Next thing you know, is it Caitlin Morin? I don't know man. Mor Mor Morin? <laughs> Next thing it's getting mentioned in the fucking news, not. <laughs> my cock was getting mentioned Channel 4 News. <laughs> And then Nori's mad blogs, not I was like, oh we man, we did that, we did that we man. <laughs> She's like, oh everybody's like, oh no, oh no. Oh Twitter, Twitter's such a horrible place. And I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> fresh one if you hear me, I'm having a whale of time. <laughs> I'm having a whale of time. Oh I The jokes not straight again. I got abused in twelve. And green Dean They got up. People said bad things. <laughs> People said bad things to me on Twitter. On what? On Twitter. Delete your Twitter account. I won't let them win. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this. There were high profile women on Twitter. Let me just say this first of all, getting abused verbally or in the written word online isn't a good thing, right? I don't like that anybody is getting seriously, like really actually, really upset, like I'm into a bit of abuse, you know, I'm into a bit of fucking, you're a fucking prick, no, that's a laugh but actually when people are getting all fucking genuinely scared and all that that's one thing that's, I mean that's another thing right but but tell me there was one person on Twitter one lady who received some kind of death threat Why did they, they, it's not genuine threat, none of these things are genuine threats, they're not genuine threats, right, I mean look at uh, Jill Dando, right, that's, a, that's fucking for real, man. that's for real, Jill, Jill Dando, that was for real, these uh, rape threats and death threats, they're not really threats, they're just, um, when I say they're just, don't mean to belittle them, but do the people who are getting these threats genuinely believe 
are about to be uh, raped. It doesn't matter. The fact is they feel in some way uncomfortable that they've been targeted with fucking venom like that. I don't think they're genuine threats. Not to belittle it. But I don't think they're genuine threats. So, and I'm sure they would agree. So wh why are they, why are they people saying they things? Why are they saying it? You tell me. Why are they saying it? I'm, I'm going somewhere that's so don't type a paragraph. Why do they say they things? That's right. For a reaction. For a reaction. If the person doesn't give any reaction, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. The person just says nothing. Fucking. There's nothing in it. Any fucking idiot knows that. Any idiot knows that. Yet what are some of these fucking uh, victims of this kind of abuse? Then. They're fucking taking screenshots and retweeting it. They're retweeting it. They're not only telling the fucking troll, if you want to call it a troll. I just call it an abuse, like a... An ab I wouldn't say abuse, alright? Don't want to be a little actual fucking abuse. But... They're, they're telling that person, well done, you fucking got it. You want to read, there's a retweet. And they're telling all these other cunts. See if you want to get retweeted to my hundreds of thousands of followers, which is the only thing you care about. If you want to end up in the fucking news, like maybe not getting caught, just like being referred to, you know, that's me they're talking about. All you need to do is tweet me a death threat or a rape threat, that's all you need to do, and I'll, I'll retweet it for you. I said it before on fucking, on Twitter. It's like a funny phone call. If you receive a funny phone call, don't fucking say it and just hang up. If you get it again, hang up. If you get it again, hang up. Nay, reaction. Eventually, in the person's mind, they get bored there. They get bored there. They might phone back maybe a month later. They again hang up. Eventually, they have to get on again. But eventually... Something happens in their life, somebody dies, something fucking happens, and you're forgotten about. You can't fight against people like that by giving them what they fucking want, you stupid. It's like, it's like uh, somebody taking one of Wayne's fucking hostage. And they're asking you for a fucking ransom. And now you're showing the fucking world you horn and air the fucking 10 million quid. Telling everybody, look. Look what I'm having to do. Look what I'm having to do. You're just saying to fucking everybody, this is what I do. This is what I do to cunts. Who, who treat me this way. I give them what they fucking want. Stupid. Which makes me wonder. Just how much are some of these high profile ones really doing everything they can to make it go away? How many are trading in a bit of the fucking the crime fighting, a bit of the kind of they're going out? I'm alright with keeping this going a wee bit longer. I know this will keep this going a wee bit longer, but it's worth it. It's maybe worth it. That's, that's what that decision is. You could say Well, why should they why should they fucking hide? Why should they keep quiet and hide in silence? People should know about the kind of